Thank you for being with us here on this Friday for the Word of Encouragement. Getting very close here to Christmas. Uh, Sunday is Christmas Eve, and Monday we'll be back with a Word of Encouragement on Christmas Day itself. But I do trust you'll have a wonderful time together with family, and may the Lord richly bless your Christmas time. Uh, and because Christmas is on our minds and hearts, I want to go back to Luke chapter 2. And in the Christmas story, we, we have a wonderful follow-up <clears throat> to Christ's birth. And uh, the follow-up is found when Jesus was taken to the temple to be circumcised, just like the law was uh, clearly had, had uh, stated and Joseph obeyed the law. God told Simeon, an aged man, who served the Lord night and day to go into the temple. He had been looking for the Messiah. He had been given a sense that he would not die till he saw the Messiah. And so he comes in, and, uh, and so we read in verse 27, And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, then took he him, Jesus, up in his arms, and blessed God and said, Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Oh, talk about encouraging. He's making it very clear that what Christ came to do was going to be for all people. And then he becomes very specific. This is going to be a light for the Gentiles. They are going to understand the truth of the Messiah and what salvation is. And God is going to deliver them. And it's going to be for the glory of Israel. Now, again, I want to remind you, we're at the time of the Roman Empire. It had an iron grip on the world. You talk about a one world government. There you have it. Uh, very, very powerful. And Israel was very much suffering. And there wasn't a lot to be excited about. But Jesus came to save his people from their sins. And we read here that uh, from Simeon's own lips, as the Spirit of God came upon him, that Jesus was prepared for all people to have the light of truth so that they could come into a relationship with the Lord. The Gentiles and thy people Israel. And we need to be encouraged that when God works and the message of Jesus goes forward, it's for all people. And that God is still doing that. There in the midst of the Roman Empire, this light comes in. It begins to affect. They can't stop it. And the entire Roman Empire within just decades was going to be shaken by the gospel. In fact, it would come to its knees because of the gospel uh, several centuries